Are you ready for some horror? I was. Then I read this book and I've been satisfied. Today we're going to talk to you about uh, a book that was on our highly anticipated uh, books to read in 2020 and that is only because we read all of them before this one came out. Yeah. <laughs> like this year we read all of them. Mm -hmm. So while he is a new author to us, he is not necessarily a new author to us anymore and that is we are talking about Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. I know I don't usually show the actual book, but I had it, so I was like, yes, I do actually read actual books, not just ebooks and audiobooks. So yes, yeah, so we got Home Before Dark, we're gonna talk about this. So while I did read the physical copy, Marshall actually listened to the audiobook. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of a different perspective when it comes to how the story was told uh, versus like, you know, yeah. people who do one or the other, we actually have done both. Uh, so let's start off with a little synopsis about the book. So, it, for those of you who know of the movie, and I think there was a book of it, Amity Horror, um, it was about a haunted house. Well, this seems like it starts the same way. This is a young lady who's, who grew up, well, spent some time in a haunted house in her childhood. For 20 days. So for 20 days. a very short amount of time. And then her father wrote a book about their experience um, that made them super famous, um, made the town angry at them, and... She, she doesn't remember any of it. She remembers nothing. Jack. And she's always been trying to get out of her parents what the real story is, because there's no such thing as ghosts. Come on. But they won't give her a straight answer. And then her dad dies. So when you're listening to this book or reading this book, you're going to see it told in two different areas. You get the House of Horrors book and you get what's actually happening in the present to the main character, who of course whose name I can never remember. Yeah. Because that's how I grow. And in the audiobook version, they actually have two different narrators. So all the stuff that's House of Horrors is narrated by a man and that's supposed oh. to represent her father. Okay. And in the other side, you have all the stuff that's happening to her, and that's done in a female narrator. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it does very easily delineate which one you're listening to mm. when you're doing it in the audiobook. Right. And when her father dies, uh, she is given ownership of the house that she thought he sold ages ago. So... Uh, on his deathbed, he tells her, don't ever go back there. It is not safe for you. So she goes back there. Of course. And that's where the real plot kicks in. And what I liked about this book is that I couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah, and we're pretty good about that, <laughs> yes. too. So the way that this is told, which I think is kind of genius, is that if something happens in the House of Horrors book, something kind of, not similar, but related to, happens in the present story. So you might think you know because of what's happening in House of Horrors what is going on, but then you start to piece a little bit more of what's happening in the chapters with the main character. Uh, so I think that way is genius too, but it's true. Like, I could not... I, I didn't really figure it out probably until the very end, but that's just because everything was falling into place the way they wanted it to. I personally was not creeped out by this book. I know no. some people said they were a little creeped out. They couldn't read it at night. And I understand why. It is a little bit creepy, but I have to say, I... <laughs> I worked at the Winchester Mystery House for a very brief amount of time. Uh, that house is creepy. <laughs> this house? That's kind of funny. I never thought about that. I, I literally worked at the Winchester Mystery House for probably less than 20 days. wonder if there's parallels to my story. I don't know, but <laughs> it freaked me out so bad I had to leave, okay? So I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't creeped out by this book at all. I, I loved it. It was probably my favorite book. By Riley Sager. Hands it, it, down. It was, it was definitely an awesome book. I mean, I would give it five stars. I gave it five stars. Yeah. I think it was an amazing book. If you're going to read a book this summer, please pick this book up. It is amazing. As far as like audiobook versus like like regular book, I I personally felt like after reading it physically, 
I didn't have any problems following the story, but I'm really glad that we did buy it on audiobook so that I can listen to it again if I want to because I think it will give like maybe a different dimension to it that I didn't have before. Yeah, the, the actors do a good job of bringing out the emotions in the characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, you do, by the way, get the entire book of House of Horrors in this story. Yeah, so you're yeah. getting two books for the price of one. Pretty I much. don't see why you shouldn't get this Pretty book much. and devour it. In one day, like we did. So thank you so much for watching our review of Home Before Dark, and until next time, bye-bye.